Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Awana. Did you have a wonderful week? Let's recap what we did last week. Now, all of you were in different verses last week, depending on what book you're in. If you were in the green book, the hang glider book, then last week you were in 1 Corinthians 15, 3. And this week, you're about to start learning 1 Corinthians 15, 4. If you are in the blue book, the wing runner book, last week you were in James 2, 10 and Acts 16, 31. But this week, you will be in John 20, 31 and Psalm 118, verse 1. And lastly, if you're in the red book, the Skystormer book, well, last week you also were in James 2.10 and Acts 16.31. But this week, you'll be learning this verse, Deuteronomy 31.8. So I wanted to explain something. In the Sparks videos, we'll be covering a variety of different verses each week. In Copies and TNT, those students are all learning the exact same verse. But you guys, Sparks, you're a little special. Depending on what book you're in, you're actually learning different verses from one another each week. Now, we don't have the time to really make a separate Sparks video for every single book. So instead, we're hoping to just do one Sparks video per week and cover a different verse from one of the three books based on what some of you are learning. So only students in the Skystormer book are learning this verse this week. However, if you're in one of these two books, we still hope that you will enjoy what you learn about this verse. It can still be an encouragement to you, a fun video for you as you learn the Bible, and maybe in its own way will help you to understand the verses that you're learning a little better down the road. Because eventually, if you're in Hang Glider or Wing Runner, you will have this verse, but maybe a long time from now. So maybe it'll be helpful for you to learn it even now and then come back to it a year or two from now. Or whenever we go through a, book, a verse in the Hang Glider book or Wing Runner, and you're already past that perhaps, it's still good to go back and refresh. So we wish we could do Sparks videos for every single verse all of you are learning, but it would just be too much work. But we really hope that you're enjoying these, these videos, and we hope that no matter what book you're in for Sparks, that you'll enjoy the videos each week. And you won't get to hear the verse you're learning every single week, but we will try to teach your verse as often as we can, all right? So with that being said, Skystormers, this is your verse for this week, all right? Hang gliders and wing runners, just tag along and hopefully you enjoy this video as well, all right? Let's learn this verse together. Everybody, doesn't matter what, you, what book you're in, let's go ahead and read through this verse together. Are you ready? It says, Deuteronomy, that's a big word, Deuteronomy 31, 8. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Now, there's two words in here that are a little bit weird. One is forsake, and the other is dismayed. Do you know what forsake means? Forsake is when somebody like leaves you behind. Have you ever been forsaken to the point where you were with a bunch of people and somehow they all leave you, all right, and they're way up ahead and you can't catch up to them? Well, forsake is like that, except when somebody actually forsakes you, they definitely did it on purpose, all right? It's like when somebody leaves you on purpose. But dismayed, that's when you feel sad or disappointed. We've all felt sad at times, right? So we've all felt disappointed or dismayed, right? Well, what is this verse talking about? Well, let me tell you a quick Bible story. Do you remember who Moses is? Tell me something that Moses did right now. Can you remember anything that Moses did? 
Now, I bet there's a lot of things you just said. You maybe said that he's the one who was in the basket floating in the river, right? And then that Egyptian uh, princess found him and raised him. Maybe you said that he talked to a burning bush. He did that, right? God was in a burning bush and told Moses to go deliver his people Israel. Maybe you said that Moses parted the Red Seas, which he did, right? Moses, he came and he brought his people out of Egypt. He brought them to the Red Sea. And even when they were trapped and they were in danger from the Egyptian army, he parted the Red Sea so they could walk through. Maybe you said that Moses gave uh, the Ten Commandments, that God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses, and he shared them with all of Israel. That's true, too. Moses did a lot of things for his people Israel, and his main goal was to bring them to a place called the Promised Land. But I got some sad news for you. Moses never got to go into the Promised Land. Do you know how old Moses was when he said these words? He was 120 years old. Do you know anybody who's 120 years old? Maybe like, I don't know, Pastor Tyler, right? Just kidding, right? All right, Pastor Tyler's not 120 years old. He's like 90 tops, all right? Moses was 120 years old. And actually, he was about to die. So because he was so old, he had to teach somebody else and prepare somebody else to lead Israel instead. Do you know who God chose to lead Israel after Moses died? It was a guy named Joshua. Here, I have a picture for you. Can you see this? This is Moses and Joshua. Moses is right here. Joshua is right here. And this right here are the words that Moses said to Joshua in this moment. You see, Moses said, hey, Joshua, you're going to lead Israel now. And that might have been kind of scary, right? Can you imagine having one person lead the entire country for a really long time, and then all of a sudden you had to lead the country, and you had to go fight against giants and really scary armies and stuff like that? That'd be pretty intimidating. But Moses told Joshua, he said, don't be afraid. Don't be scared, but be strong and courageous because God is with you. And right after he said that, in front of the entire nation of Israel, the entire country was gathered around watching them, he then said these words, the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. So do not fear nor be dismayed. Boys and girls, Joshua did just that. He didn't get scared. He didn't chicken out. He didn't get overwhelmed by the pressure of leading an entire country. But instead, he was strong and courageous. Not because he was anything special, but because he knew that God was with him. So that even after Moses said goodbye to everybody in the country, Joshua was ready to lead because he relied on God. Hey, boys and girls, there might be some scary things that you have to do sometimes, right? What's something scary that sometimes you have to do that you don't like to do? Sometimes it's as simple as going down into the dark basement. Oh, the basement, it can be scary sometimes, right? Or you have to sleep and spend the night somewhere where you've never spent the night before. That can be scary. Or, or, or sometimes you have to talk to a person uh, that you haven't met. Or, or like the first day of school, whenever you have to go to a new place that you've never been before. Or, or you are away from your parents and friends for a little bit. There's a lot of scary things that you might have to do, right? But I have good news for you. You don't have to be afraid. You don't, you don't have to worry because God is with you. And he's never going to leave you. He'll never leave you on purpose, like forsaking you, right? He loves you, and he is there with you, and he's always going to be by your side. So be strong and courageous, just like Joshua, okay? Because whatever it is that you have to deal with, 
God is with you. So ask God to help you and trust in him. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, students in Skystormer, I hope that you work hard on this verse. For the rest of you who are learning other verses this week, I hope you work hard also so that you can pass the section, get your 10 Awana shares, buy some prizes at the Awana store, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.